Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a flat spiral bracelet. This is a bracelet that's really easy. It's a fast working bracelet. You can finish it off in an hour or maybe half an hour something depends upon the how fast you are and the best thing about it is that you can use any sort of material that you would wish to start out with it for my bracelet I'm going to be using six millimeter glass pearls 11 o seed beads and some six o seed beads you can use crystals, 4 millimeter bicons, or maybe 15 OCD beads, 8 OCD beads. It's an endless variation to be working with this bracelet. I'm also be showing you how you can make your own loop or maybe add in your closures and um, how to finish up this fun bracelet. So without wasting much time, let's get started. In order to start off, you will also need your needle threaded. I'm using a size 10 and you will need a toggle. So let's get started. In order to start off, you want to like you would like to start off with two of your six millimeter. Take them down to the very end of your thread leave about a 10 inch tail and hold on to your beads in this way you're going to be picking up five of your 11s one of your six o's and five of your 11s And you would like to go into the pearls in a round. My thread is coming out of this side. I'm going to be going into from the opposite direction. And pull. That's how I do that. You want to keep the beads onto the left side and again pick up five of your elevens one of your sixes and five of your elevens and you want to go into the same bead again so we are always doing it two times making sure that we have five beads one six o oh, and five beads on one side and five beads one six o oh, and five beads on the other side so what we did was we picked up two pearls then we picked up five beads one six and five beads and we went in this way around beads and up through the pearls again we just put it onto the left side and we picked up five beads one six oh and five beads and we went around the beads and up through the both pearls so that's how you do your flat spiral stitch now this time I want to pick up another pearl I want to take it down to the very end of my thread just like that holding it tight between my fingers I'm going to pick up five of my elevens one of my six and five of my eleven again and I want to go through this time I'm going to go through two of the pearls again so I'm going to be putting on this going through this bead and this bead so what I want to do is my thread is coming out of here so I want to go around these two pearls in around again 
This time again, I want to take this, this part and I'm going to put it right here. Again towards the left and I'm going to pick up 5 of the 11's. one of the sixes and five of my elevens and I'm going to go into this both same pearls see that's how you do it I'm going to show you one more time you want to pick up a pearl Drop it down to the very end of your thread, pick up, one six -o. And you want to go into the two pearls again the first one that we added just now and the one next to it and you want to take the set of beads and move it towards the left again you want to pick up five beads a six -o and five elevens again and you want to go into the same two beads again so this is how your stitch goes once you have done the length of you, the length that you want for your bracelet that may be seven inches or something I'm going to be showing you how you can fix this loose end of your bracelet and then add in your closure. So I want you to work your way through the length of your bracelet that you want and then come back and see what I do with the end. Okay guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make it into a Barbie bracelet. So that's all that I'm going to be adding. I would like to discuss a, a, one thing that few people make a mistake in the stitch sometimes what happens is that when when you're working around the work what happens is your beads turn this way so you're working but you don't know that this whole set has been turned this way and you put on a bead and the side flaps you do everything and when you end up you don't notice that you have been working the wrong way so don't do that when you're working around your beads you must make sure that the last flap or the last set of beads are on top of your six mm's if the last flap is not on top of your six mm then you're doing this wrong see here the beads are on top i mean the six mm's are on the top but here your last flap the last flap of your beads is on top so you want to make sure that that's working nice and tight so that you don't have to make a mess out of that one there so I will be showing you how we can add in your closures so holding on to your piece of thread what you want to do is I'm now coming out of and six millimeter right so I want to pick up one, two, three, and four of my elevens, my toggle, and four of my elevens again. And I'm going to be going into only that one bead, that one pearl. so that I now have a full loop over there 
So this time what I want to do is I'm coming out of a pearl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come I'm coming out of a pearl. I'm going to come inside in a downward motion through the six o right here and pull tight see and then what I'm going to do is if you if you look closely I'm going to go into one of these beads one of the elevens and then the six o's and then pull see what I did there now what happens is that this part and this part get connected I'm going to go into this curl right here yes towards the side curl and pull tight so this comes closer towards the bead I'm now coming out of the middle curl bead I'm going to do the same thing to this side I'm going to go into the 6 o only the 6 o and then through the side bead that is the 11 and the 6 o this way. I'm coming out of this 6 i I'm going to go into this 11 and the 6 o and then I'm going to pull. What this does is it makes your flaps even. So the first flap that you have here and the second flap that you have here are both now identical. See? Now moving on to the next side. What you want to do is you want to tie your knot right over there. Tie it with a couple of knots. And go through some of those beads. I'm sorry, I moved out of camera focus and you want to go into some of those beads and then you want to take your pair of scissors and trim off the extra piece. Now what you want to do is you want to thread the end of the wire with a needle. I'm gonna do that and come back in one second. Okay, so I've gone ahead and threaded my tail end. I'm again coming out of a 6 o I'm sorry, a 6 millimeter. And what I want to do is, I'm going to pick up four of my beads. The toggle bar and four of my beads. Oh. Oh, shit. Sure. In this way I'm just gonna add one more yeah four of my beads one of my toggle bar and the other side of my four beads and I want to go into this first pearl that I had added only one pearl right there and what I want to do I want to do the same thing holding on to my thread I'm going to go into this 6 o Only the 6 o Making sure that my thread is only coming out of the 6 o And I'm going to go into If you see, I'm coming out of the 11 and the 6 o of the flap of beads just behind 
this bead so that this flap of beads is connected to this flap of beads so I'm now coming out of the 60 over here so what I want to do is I want to go into this bead right there I'm going to go into this pearl and down through the side 6 -0. And through the 11 and the 6 just down the corner and pull tight so this way both of my flaps of the first layer are connected to the second layer of beads at this point I'm going to be going around with my needle and making a loop around those same beads and then pulling them tight together so that my work is now secure and pretty. I'm going to go through some of those beads just to make sure that I'm far away from my knot and then I'm going to trim my extra tail and I have a pretty bracelet so that's how you do a flat spiral i hope the video was helpful if you have anything to learn from the flat spiral then please tell me if you want uh, something in the other in any other color combination or maybe you want it with crystals or something then leave me a comment in the comment section below all the list of supplies will be added in in the description box below so that's all for now. I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you next time. Bye.